AG12. Welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool amendment right here and basically what these are are some glass mixing bowls. And we see for the one that we got right here is from this brand. And for this set, they basically probably got four different sides of the glass mixing bowls. So you can see inside right here, they do probably got information in terms of what size provided for you guys. And pretty much for this set, when you guys do purchase it, they do give you guys the lid as well. And if you guys turn on the side right here, they do probably got some aspect and feature that's on the product. So they do mention how it is freezer safe, refrigerator safe, microwave safe, oven safe, dishwasher safe. And they also mention when you guys do the product, you want to avoid extreme temperature change. So for example, if you guys just got it from the freezer, you don't want to put it in the microwave like immediately. You probably want to let it cool down or heat up first. But here is basically what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right. So once you guys open it, if you see the inside is all well packaged. But maybe it's the first day and see inside is the actual bowls. So here we have the small one. Here we have the next one, which is medium. Right here, they do probably got the lid and the lid is for the small one. Next one that we got right here is the large one. And then right underneath that, and we see we do have the biggest one. And right underneath that bowl, and we see we do have all the different lid. And in the very bottom, they do probably got the instruction manual to teach you guys how to maintain the product and how to use it. And that is basically everything that's inside. Now let's put on all the lid to show you guys what the product looks like. So here we have the small one. Here we have the next one. Here we have the third one. And then here we have the last one. So once you guys put on the lid for all four of them, here is basically what the product looks like. So when you guys do feed the material that's on here, it is real glass. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys do handle it. And if you guys do want to stack all three of them, here is basically what the product looks like if you guys do stack all four of them. So whether if you guys want to use it for cooking stuff or mixing stuff, however you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. I actually own one of these bigger ones right here and I usually use it for like putting soup inside. Let me actually bring over to show you guys what I mean. So here is the current one that I've been using, which is basically the same size as this one. If you can see. And for this one, I've been using for quite some time now and it's been working really well. One thing that I do want to mention about this lid is the fact that it's not leak proof. So if you guys do end up putting stuff inside right here that it has liquid, it will leak out. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys do put it inside. But it is pretty cool how the product does allow you guys to put it in the freezer, the refrigerator, the oven, the microwave, and even the dishwasher as well. And I do want to mention when you guys do purchase this product, they actually have this available in different size. Some of them might be bigger and some of them might be smaller. So you definitely want to do your own research and measurement to see how big or how small you guys need. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we take unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for some high quality glass mixing bowls, like the one that we have right here, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.